would love to share with you how I was able to turn my Simplicity 8658 and Simplicity 8701 patterns into this. And we're going to start talking about that right now. <laughs> Okay, so when I was given the opportunity to um, launch the Simplicity Pattern Hack Along, it, it filled my heart with joy because that's what I love to do. I enjoy taking simple patterns, simple designs into my own creation. I like to change them around and make them into, you know, something that I'd love to wear. In this, in this case, something that I'd love to wear to a party. So, I turned these two patterns. So, what are the things that I have to share with you about this, um, about this entire journey? First things first. The bodies. This pattern came, uh, came with raglan sleeves. That actually really did feed nicely into the style idea that I had for this jumpsuit that I wanted to wear to a party. Okay, so on the 8658, I more or less kept everything exactly as they were, apart from the fact that I included darts at the back of the pattern. I included darts to it because I needed to have a bit of shaping at the back. So I included quite, you know, a bit of, I included quite a bit of a dart. The front part of it, I didn't include darts, however, I slightly contoured it on the side seams, just a tiny little bit, just to, um, you know, reduce the bulk. Also, I added style lines to the front of the bodies, to just, just to play around with the stripes. I also didn't bother adding the left sleeve. I left it as it was, and um, this this actually didn't pose much of a problem, um, apart from the fact that I slightly, slightly, ever so slightly reduced the the armhole on this on this side here, so there wasn't a bit, there wasn't a gape, so it didn't gape. That's one thing that I did. I also um, slashed and spreaded the sleeve, the original sleeve that came with the pattern, just to add, it didn't add much volume here, I slashed it, slashed and spreaded it just so that I would have more volume at the hem to make it a bit bigger so it will have more of a puff and that, that was then added onto this cuff that I created. If you want to know more on how to create this cuff and how I attached it to the sleeve, watch the video that would come up on the screen and click on that um, label. It's called a card. Click on it and that will take you to the video. I also added um, some loops here. Yeah. And these, these, um, these went nicely with the buttons that I chose. Right. I included a collar and this collar really did test my patience. If you would like me to share a video on how to create a collar like this one on woven fabric, do let me know in the comment section and I will work towards creating one. Um, yeah, to be honest, this was a dream fabric to work with. It was from Minerva Crafts lovely lovely fabric it frays though the fraying was actually it got on my nerves at some point um, <laughs> so my advice is if you're working with fabric that really does fray overlock the the raw ends before actually manipulating the fabric because you will get tested trust me um, so yeah that's the bodice I had an invisible zipper um, the bodice was lined the bodice was fully lined. I had my invisible zipper, even though this part here is slightly not very vis invisible because of the bulk here. Yeah, but I I tried. I really did try to keep it invisible. 
but yeah so it was um, an invisible zipper all the way down to the um, high waist and yeah that's the, the uh, that's the bodice of the jumpsuit now onto the trousers now this th these were absolutely perfect for the idea I had in mind and um, it's a it's a high-waisted trouser pattern which went really well with the idea that I had right a tip for you is even before cutting off your um cutting out your body um, pattern the way you want you know to the length that you want it you need to you need to match the trouser pattern the top of the trouser the the waist to the top of your um to the hem of your bodice make sure they sit nicely exactly where you want them to sit before you actually cut out your bodice pattern otherwise you would have a bit of a camel toe I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube but um, yeah you'd have a bit of a camel toe or it would pull it would really pull and it would be really uncomfortable so you need to do a bit of just a little bit of testing I actually did um I did create a muslin just to make sure that it was exactly the way I wanted it to be so I would really I would really recommend doing that because you know this isn't it wasn't this is not as it was planned so you're changing it slightly so you need to test it out to make sure it works otherwise you would have you would waste your material you waste your money and these materials don't come too cheap so um, that's a tip that I'll give you second tip make sure that all the tricky parts are focused on in little segments before you actually in you know before you you um, assemble the entire garment I'll give you an example this here the sleeve I worked on all of these because I attached the cuff I um, added my button the loop and all of that way before attaching the the sleeve to the main bodies well to the entire jumpsuit that is really 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 important otherwise it will be too much work manipulating and maneuvering this with, on your sewing machine just because of one tiny little sleeve so that's a great big tip that I would give you one more tip is if you are making an asymmetric an asymmetrical um, bodice draw out the entire pattern draw it on the fold and open it out so that when you draw when you create any kind of asymmetry on your pattern you can see it in the whole you can see the entirety of it and you would in you, you would envision what it would actually look like don't go working on it on the half please don't do that because you just give yourself extra work but remember to add half an inch seam allowance or whatever seam allowance you're comfortable with to your style lines wherever you cut or slash otherwise you'd ruin the entire thing just don't forget those that seam allowance it's so important i added half an inch seam allowance to mine that's why i'm just comfortable with inches so i added half an inch seam allowance to mine so you might want to do one one centimeter seam allowance it was the pattern piece for my bodice you can see that line there and you can see that I wrote half an inch because I am quite used to um, <laughs> drawing my seam allowance onto my fabric with chalk I was able to get over that get through that but if you don't feel too comfortable and you think you might forget I would recommend like sellotaping some paper adding your seam allowance and cutting out before you actually put it onto the fabric that's a recommendation for me please do not forget that because you ruin your entire hard work then oh also I used I taped back my pieces and used the pattern that I created to cut out my lining so it will it matched exactly with my main fabric so that's another tip for you okay so the next tip for you is to please when you are doing any kind of um, top stitching on the outside, the part that's facing the public, well, this is what I like to do because I've got quite a steady hand 
well she says when well I was watching back a video of me doing my um, top stitching and I, the faces I was pulling was just crazy ridiculous I'll insert it so you can see the faces that I, I was pulling but I really do take my time when I'm doing top stitching and if you want to know more about how to create um, how to do top stitching perfectly watch the video that's going to pop up and learn a bit more on how to do that but yeah back to back back to what I was saying um, I I do my t I do I attach everything and then the top stitching is the last thing but please do your top stitching last on the part that sh that faces the public but yeah I really did enjoy my hack along um, it was such a great pleasure I feel really humble to be launching the um, simplicity pattern hack along and I'll really encourage you to join in the fun um, there are nine sewing patterns to choose from. There are three categories and um, to tag, three, three main categories to tag on social media. Uh, there's a hack, uh, hashtag hack along day, hashtag hack along party, hashtag hack along vintage. And I think that the, the prizes to be won are fantastic. So yeah. Really join in the party people <laughs> join in the party and there are some fantastic bloggers who are going to be blogging this their their experience I have got some I've got a blog post on my website so so natural.com on that blog post I gave some good tips and tricks for you if you want to have a go at hacking a pattern really do take the time to what to read through that blog post and um, thank you very much for watching this video I'm gonna insert some pictures to show you what I look like in my beautiful jumpsuit I really like the style I love the the wide leg trousers paired with like lovely high heel sandals I really did enjoy wearing making it I really enjoyed making it I loved the challenge of you know um, solve problem solving creating something from something else something slightly different you know a little bit different or maybe massively different <laughs> but it was it was fun it was great fun and I would love to do more hack you know more hack alongs using these nine patterns if you would like to see more of these pattern pattern hack alongs from me let me know and I would I'll be happy to do another one I've got this skirt in mind for my next one if I do do it <laughs> so I bought this um, the eight nine two nine and I've got a like a really nice idea that I would like to try um, yeah let me know if you'd like me to do a video on how I hack this pattern into a completely different style it might be just a skirt or it might turn into a dress hmm who knows anyway thank you very much for your time thank you very much for watching my video and I really do hope to see you next time let me know um, if you have any questions in the comment section and I hope to see you very soon next time Take care, my lovelies, and um, goodbye. <laughs>